one of the most classic things to do with confit today. This is rillette, and you can make it from just about just about any animal that you can cook in fat, but you want a, a slow cooking piece of meat. This is venison shoulder. You can use pork shoulder. Obviously, duck legs and goose legs are very traditional, but we're going to cut the meat into large pieces if we're using something from a larger animal. But you can do this with squirrel. I mean, any kind of game that needs to be fully cooked. We're going to measure out a specific proportion of salt. I'm going to use anywhere from 1 to 1.5% 1 of salt, and then thyme is the herb par excellence for confit, so we're going to season the meat with plenty of thyme, then all of the salt, and we're going to mix that up, and then we're going to sous vide it. Sous vide allows you to use a minimal amount of fat. You can also cook the meat in stock. I'm just going to use butter. You could use uh, duck fat, goose fat, pork fat, anything you want, but don't use venison, lamb, or goat fat because it's too tough and you need it to be spreadable at room temperature. Then we're gonna cook that about 195 for about three hours and you're gonna get this brick of meat and fat and it's all gonna get mixed back together. So we're just gonna warm up the confit and you could freeze it like that and then just pull it out when you wanna make some rillette. And then we're gonna take the meat juices and the fat and we're going to strain that out. And now we're going to mix it, and I'm actually going to recommend, you want the meat to pull apart, but I'm going to recommend that you do this by hand, uh, mixing it by hand instead of a stand mixer. I mix mine a little bit too much, which also I used to have cooks do all the time, and I'll show you a trick for serving it like that if it happens to you. We're going to cut some shallots. This is like my secret for seasoning Riette. Riette is very fatty, salty, and strong tasting, uh, more in like a heavy, rich way, not gamey at all. Cook the shallots in vinegar, and we're just going to make some pickled shallots, and these are going to add a nice bright pop to the rillette. And we're just going to, you know, stir the meat and then mix in those pickled shallots, and then we are going to spoon in the fat and some of the cooking liquid until it tastes good to us. And once again, I just do that with your hands. If it gets like that, if it's a little bit pasty, it's okay. It should be spreadable, so that's great if you do it like that. It's great for a sandwich. We're going to season it with a little bit of extra pepper and some thyme to taste. Shouldn't need any salt. And they'll pack that into a container. This could be frozen, or you could top it with fat and put it in the fridge. But I don't really like topping crocs of it with fat to serve. I'm going to show you a great way to, to serve them without putting fat on top, because diners and your dinner guests will find it greasy, guaranteed. And this is what I really like the texture to be like, is like nice and coarse. So really mix it with your hands and skip the stand mixer. It's easy for it to get away from you. And you just have a crock of potted meat served at room temperature. You spread on a crusty baguette with mustard and pickles, and it's wonderful. Now, instead of serving crocks topped with fat, I shot a cookbook where we did this. And it just, it looks greasy. It tastes greasy. People aren't going to like it. Meritage Restaurant in St. Paul, uh, Chef Russell Klein's great French restaurant. I like to take a page from him. And I spread preserves on top of the rillette when I'm going to serve them. So just leave them at room temperature, put the preserves on top, and then you spread that on crusty baguette. Lovely. Another thing you can do is just have it as a tartine. So take a piece of good bread and just spread it with the rillette. Pickles, pickled jalapenos, a little lemon zest, chives, that is a great tartine or added to a sandwich. And if you mix it up a little bit much, we used to roll rillette in herbs and then just cut coins of it. This is good for portioning uh, for banquets or for larger charcuterie trays. It makes it look really attractive with the herbs rolled on it. That's just a little bit of parsley and tarragon. Really nice and easy to do. And there you go. That's how to make rillette. Great with all kinds of meat. The full recipe is on my website. Thanks for watching.